Okay. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I like your haircut. Thanks. You know, you never know if you've got a good shaped head until you don't have any hair, but yeah. you have a good shaped head. Thanks, Chip. I appreciate you, that. You appear to have a good shaped head as well. But I hope we never find out. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, <laughs> welcome. Today is Friday the 14th. Um, happy birthday, Grandma. Birthday yeah, was yeah. yesterday. Happy birthday, hope Chip. You, happy mom. birthday. Hope you had a good day. Have a good weekend ahead. Uh, don't get too much snow. Um, we've got a special guest today. Welcome, Amy Herzog, the executive director for Visit Carmel, uh, Carmel's premier and only destination marketing organization. Um, Amy's going to talk to us a little bit about Culinary Week. Got my pen. And um, I've asked her to also touch on potentially the organization's sustainability platform, Love Carmel Like a Local. And um, so in full disclosure, I do sit on the board on behalf of the city and the council. It's a great board um, that does great work in celebrating the village and its attributes. So a welcome. Thank you. Um, in real quick other news, um, we are still hiring. Mary did a great article in mm -hmm. the Pinecone today. Um, uh, we're going to have uh, Yashin Abbas, who is our interim city clerk. Maybe we'll have her next week, Brandon. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, she's a journey level city clerk. She's already hit the ground running. Welcome, Yashin. Um, She's doing a great job already. She will be attending, obviously, the February council mm -hmm. meeting and stewarding us through that process. So welcome. Um, and um, one correction, we are filming the recruitment video. It's a 60 second video uh, we're, we're, uh, we're filming this morning. So the crews were in the trees on scenic uh, at 745 this morning. Um, and we've got every 30 minutes, we've got different segments that feature city staff. So thank you city staff and thank you Jeff and Nicole for and 62 above I always want to say 62 below hmm. oh I always want to say 62 and above ah that's a good one <laughs> well that that's that's the uh, the marketing organization that Jeff and Nicole now work with so um, thank you all for for being there and that's it what do you got big guy uh, real quickly we are closed Monday City Hall is closed on Monday um, in honor of Martin Luther King jr. Um, we, our city essential services still will be here, uh, police, fire, all the stuff that we need, and you can always get a hold of us, you know, if you really need to. But the city hall Absolutely. itself will be closed. Um, I wanted to give everybody an update. I'm really excited. Uh, we are going to be starting a, down the adventure of updating our design guidelines, commercial and residential, and zoning code at the same time. I'll be going to city council in February with a contract to bring Winter and Company on board. They were the wonderful organization that helped us 20 years ago, the mm -hmm. Design Traditions Program, our project. And Nori Winter, the principal of that company, is going to be coming out of retirement to work with us just because he loves the village so much. I mean, it's hard not to. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're really excited to have him on board and helping. I think it's really going to help this process. There's going to be a lot of opportunity for the public to get involved. We'll do public meetings, public hearings. Um, so keep, keep tuned for that. Very exciting news. Um, and last update from a land use thing, uh, the Planning Commission had a great meeting this week, got through about seven items. Uh, one of the things on there, just to let everyone know, they did decide to reopen the conversation, the public hearings on the benches down along Scenic Pathway. So uh, the process is going to be, we're going to go back to the Forest and Beach Commission in the coming months, uh, get specific direction from them on the number and the placement, and then come back to the Planning Commission for a public hearing to either keep their original decision in place or modify that number in some way. So we'll keep everyone posted. There'll be lots of notices and, again, opportunity for the public to get involved. Great. And that's all I have. I'm, awesome. I'm excited to hear from Amy. Yep. Wonderful. Well, good update. Thank you Thanks. so much. What do you got? Well, I have a question. Have you guys had your coffee yet today? Can you tell? Yeah. I have. You have. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, there are actually two restaurants in town that for the next 10 days you can get free coffee. What? With the purchase of, an, of a sandwich or a salad. <laughs> right now. But I won't tell you what they are because okay. you've got it. If you have the Carmel Culinary Week .com Culinary Week passport, then you can find out where they are. And I did download my passport, yeah. and um, yeah, there's all kinds of great opportunities right. to celebrate right. our local culinary. Right. So, as you mentioned, it's Carmel Culinary Week. It starts today. And um, when you download that free mobile app or passport, you can see all the 26 different participating restaurants that are part of it. And by being a part of it, they're either offering a special prefix menu that has some creative items that are not normally found on the menu, or some of them just have like special menu mm -hmm. options that they, you know, st things that they want to try out. Um, and then a lot of them are offering incentives. So like when you go and dine there, you might get a free glass of house wine or an appetizer for the table Great. or special wine list access to something you wouldn't get. So lots of kind of exclusive fun experiences at the restaurants. 
And in addition to that, there are a bunch of different kind of small classes and seminars and demos taking place. Um, I know there's like Barmel's doing one of us whiskey tasting. I really need to go to that because I am a total whiskey dummy. Like I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> a whiskey dummy. I really am. Yeah. I need an education. Um, Cultura is doing a, a seminar on mezcal. Um, and there is a very popular pot sticker making class happening, and uh, that's at Cafe Luna. They've had to add two extra dates. Yeah, they sold wow. out two, two of the three. That's yeah, great. Yeah. Everyone wants yeah, to know phenomenal. how to make pot stickers. I'm going to take, I'm thinking I'm going to sign up Ethan for that, try to get him there. Yeah. My kid. That's yeah. That's a good idea. And then you get pot stickers around the house. I mean, it's oh, yeah. One. That's great. We know how to make them. Yeah. Oh, but before I forget to mention it, for those of you who have not heard, we had initially planned for a launch party that was going to happen today at Carmel Plaza from three to five. And that, that event has been canceled. Okay. Anyone who has, who had bought tickets, rest assured your money was refunded. Check your credit card statements. It should be on there. It was refunded on Tuesday. Um, an email did go out, but I think it might've gone into people's spam. So not everyone got word that they got the refund, but everyone who bought a ticket got a refund. But if you come by the plaza at th between three and five, I'll be out there. And we have these really cute little commemorative pins. See, we all have them on. Mm -hmm. And we have like a thousand of them because oh. the plan was everyone who was coming to the party was gonna get uh -huh. some and then some. So come by, whether you're gonna come to the party or not, come by and see me and um, get a cool little pin. Oh, I was happy great. to give those to the community. Just like a sticker, everybody loves a free pin. That's yeah. right. It's fun. Right on. It's a good memento. So, and the last thing I just wanted to say, I know I'm just talking, but just wanted to mention the theme is the art of the plate. And the reason we picked that theme is because, you know, it's an homage to the village's, um, you know, foundation as an art colony and, mm -hmm. and, and with the art and architecture and the history here. But, you know, our chefs and our restaurateurs are really artists as well. And mm -hmm. that was what we kind of wanted to point out, that we live in this community or we can, can be in this community that has these artists with food and how lucky we are. You know, we're going to have almost 60 restaurants by the middle of 2022. It's incredible. Wow. Yeah. That's great. So, yeah, so our culinary scene is, is really thriving and really becoming innovative and kind of keep, keeps pushing the envelope. So something to be really proud about. Well, and it's great that, that you know, even though we're still in, in the midst of this pandemic, you know, culinary week is going forward and, mm -hmm. and the precautions are being taken. That's why the, you know, the, the launch party was canceled, but it's still mm -hmm. happening and it's being done in a safe way. So we really hope people can get out there and enjoy and have some sort of sense of normalcy with, you know, culinary week and, and and see all this wonderful stuff that's out there. Absolutely, and this is, you know, this is generally a pretty slow month in town in terms of visitation. So this is really something for the locals, yep. like kind 100%. of a post holiday way to come come out again and and try a new restaurant. I mean, there's probably some that you've been like thinking about wanting to go mm -hmm. to. This is a good chance to do that. Yeah, well mm -hmm. said. That's You're great. a great ambassador. You did a good job last week too. <laughs> so yeah, what do you have? Coffee, beer, wine, tequila, and whiskey. Those are yes. It's like the breakfast of champions. Yep. That's like a five course meal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I think that's it. Well, you had asked me about destination stewardship or you'd mentioned you'd promo. Well, let's it. do it next time. We'll okay. just we'll, go, go ahead. Yeah, come back. Come back and oh, visit I'll us again. I'll come back. All yeah. right. We'll, yeah. we'll, okay. we'll, we'll have you back. So okay. thank you for being here. Thank you for sure. doing uh, what you do for the village and keeping us safe and sound. We're grateful and we're honored and blessed to have you as part of the team. Well, so, thank, you thank you for being part of the Visit Carmel board. Uh, you're you're I, a very I, valuable asset. I try my best. I try my best. So. It's a love fest in here. I love it. Oh, go my it's gosh. Great. Let's, let's go. All right, All right, pick us out. What do we say? Um, happy birthday again, Chip's mom, and take good care. Take, take care. Take care.